Hi friends, welcome to Yoga Storytime. My name is Teacher Casey and these are my helpers. We have Ruby and Merritt. Do you want to wave to your friends? Hi friends, thanks for joining us. So we have mats in our space. Maybe you have a mat and you can use yours. And if not, that's okay. You don't need one. Just have a nice, comfortable space. And for Yoga Storytime, we are going to read a book. Ruby Finds a Worry, and we checked this book out from the library, Swayze Branch, where we go to um, before the libraries were closed. So we were really happy and fortunate that we got this book because we've been reading it a lot while we've been home and with everything going on, and it's been really helpful for us. So we'll start with our book today, and then we'll move into some yoga poses. Ready? Y'all can get comfy. Ruby Finds a Worry. Ruby loved being Ruby. She loved swinging. She loved to swing up high. And she loved to explore wild, faraway places. Sometimes she even went all the way to the very bottom of the garden. Ruby was perfectly happy until one day she discovered a worry. It wasn't a very big worry. In fact, it was so small that at first, Ruby hardly noticed it. But then the worry started to grow. Each day it got a little bigger. It just wouldn't leave her alone. It was there at breakfast, staring at her over the cereal box, and it was still there at night when she brushed her teeth. The funny thing was that no one else could see Ruby's worry, not even her teacher. So Ruby pretended that she couldn't see it either. It's not. She tried to carry on as if everything was normal, but it just wasn't. The worry was always there, stopping her from doing the things that she loved. How does Ruby look like she feels? Yeah, she kind of looks a little sad. Ruby wondered if the worry would ever go away. What if it didn't? What if it stayed with her forever? Ruby didn't realize it, but she was doing the worst thing you can ever do with a worry. She was worrying about it. The worst thing you can do. Now the worry was... Yeah. It was enormous. It could barely fit in the kitchen at dinner time. It filled up half the school bus. And it took up whole rows at the movie theater. Yeah. <laughs> The worry became the only thing that Ruby could think about, and it seemed like she would never feel happy again. Then one day, something unexpected happened. Ruby noticed a boy sitting alone at the park. He looked how she felt. Sad. And then she noticed something else, something hovering next to him. Could it be? A worry. A worry? It was. Ruby realized that she wasn't the only person with a worry after all, right? Other people had them too. She asked the boy what was on his mind, and as he told her, the strangest thing happened. His worry began to shrink. Then Ruby did the best thing you can ever do if you have a worry. She talked about it. As the words tumbled out, Ruby's worry began to shrink until it was barely there at all. Soon, both of their worries were gone. Finally, Ruby felt like herself again. Of course, that wasn't the last time she ever had a worry. Everyone gets them from time to time. But now that she knew how to get rid of them, they never hung around for long. You don't? Well, we really love that book. And friends... What do you do when you have a worry? What do you do, Ruby? I just run downstairs. You just run downstairs if you have a worry, like at night, you run downstairs? Maybe I might talk about it. Maybe you might talk about it? Is there anything that you're worried about now? Mm -hmm. No, no worries. Well, right I'm now. worried about this weird virus. You've been worried about this weird virus? Can you sit up? Because I'm not sure that friends can see you or hear you. Yeah. Have you been able to talk about it? No. Who would you talk to about it if you wanted to? Your friends? Yeah. Or maybe mom or dad? 
And friends at home, if you have a worry, feel free to talk about it too. And we're going to do some yoga poses today. And there was something that I really loved about this book. Did you notice? What color was Ruby's worry? Yellow. Yellow. And what color was her friend's worry? Blue. Blue. So worries could look like or have a feeling like colors. And we'll talk a lot about colors and what they can feel like today in class. But first, let's get started. So find your crisscross legs. Find your crisscross legs and make sure to face friends so that they can see you. Are you ready for yoga? If you're ready, then stomp really loud, really loud. Maybe someone downstairs or in the other room can hear you. And then stop. Stretch up your fingers. Stretch them up, 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 and down. Are you ready? D for yoga. If you're ready, then stomp your feet really, 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 really fast. And then stop. Stretch up your toes. Stretch them up, 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 and down. Are you ready for yoga? If you're ready, stomp your hands and your feet. And then stop. Okay, ready? Stretch up your fingers. Stretch up your toes and try to balance. <laughs> balance. Balance and down. Good. Find your crisscross legs. We're going to do a little bit more to warm up our body. So bring your hands to your knees. And we're just going to go around and around like circles. Can you go around and around? Good. And then stop. We'll go the other way. Round and around and around and around and stop. Good. And then we're going to stretch over to one side. Big stretch. And then stretch over to the other side. Big stretch. And then come back, sit tall. We're going to bring out the breathing ball because when we're breathing, that can really help us. If we're, how would you get it for me? That can really help us if you have a worry or if you're feeling angry or any kind of big feelings. And what we want to do, and if you'll just hand it to me, please, Ruby, thank you. And what you want to do is make your breath really big and really slow. So if you'll show friends, let's put our hands on our belly. Good. Hey, Merritt, can you put your hands on your belly? And then take a big breath in. And take a big breath out. We'll let Ruby have a turn, but bring your hands onto your belly. And we're going to take a big breath in. And a big breath out. Good job. Merritt, would you like a turn? Yeah, take a big breath in. And a big breath out. Good job, friends. So we'll even try that when we're doing our yoga postures. We'll try to take big, slow breaths the whole time. Will you put the breathing ball off to the side, please? Say bye-bye, breathing ball. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye. Okay, let's come to our hands and knees. And we'll do a little cow-cat poses. So stay on your yoga mat or in your space. Good. And as you come to your hands and knees, you're going to look up toward the ceiling. And then we'll turn into our cows and say, moo. And then look at your belly button. Moo. Meow. <laughs> One more moo. Meow. Good job. And then let's take a moment to stretch our legs. So downward facing dog. So from your hands and knees, tuck your toes under and pick your bottom up into the air. Good. And then you're going to balance on your hands and feet and try to bring your bottom as high up as you can as you let your head hang down. And then try to stay here. Good, strong arms, Ruby. Try to stay here for three of those big, slow breaths. Can you do it? Two more. Last one. Let's try it. Good job, friends. So, can anyone tell me what are the colors of the rainbow? So we're going to go through the colors of the rainbow and we're going to do some yoga postures that can kind of help us feel those colors. So first we're going to stand up and we're going to start with red. 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 Yeah. And red is a color that can sometimes make you feel maybe calm or healthy. So as you stand tall, we're going to come into our mountain pose and we're going to press your palms together. Is red what you see when you feel mad? I can see that. Because if you weren't feeling calm or healthy, it would be red. So bring your palms together and then try to stand really tall. Can you show us? We're going to take those big, slow breaths. Breathe in. 
and breathe out. Two more. Good job. Last one. <laughs> breathe into your hands. It sounds like a volcano. Is it a volcano erupting? What would that look like? <sighs> Maybe be a volcano erupting. Good. So what was next? We had red, and then what's our next color? Red. Orange. Orange. An orange... Orange can make you feel happy, maybe happy or creative or even peaceful. So sometimes we call this, yeah, sometimes in Miss Julia's class, you call this dragon pose. So put your knee on the ground, put, and then you're going to take a big breath in, reach your hands up, and a big breath out, hands come back to center. Let's do two more. Big breath in, and breathe out. One more. Big stretch up. And breathe out. Now let's switch legs. Oh, a jump switch. That's good move. Ready? Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And out. Good breathing. Good job. So we've done red, yellow. What's next? A red, orange. What's next? Yeah. Yellow. Yellow is next. Yellow. Or strong. Exactly. Yellow. That can be strong too. Or yellow can even be like powerful, feeling powerful or, or strong. Yellow, yellow could be fast too. But we're going to stay on our mats and we're going to do boat pose again. We did this one at the beginning of class when we were balancing. So you have a seat on your mat. You can hold on to your legs and try to pick your feet up. And you want to try to balance here without falling back or forward. Can you try? And then maybe even reach your hands out. And maybe even straighten your legs. And can you take your big breath in? And big breath out. Can you try to straighten your legs, Merritt? Let's do two more. Well, you almost got it. Stay, stay, stay. Nice job, friends. I ran on fire. Yeah. So red, orange, yellow. Green. Now, green. Green. is there somebody we know with a favorite color green? Me. I know someone with a favorite color green. And green can be a color that reminds us that we're loved or when we're feeling no. loving. No, red is for love. Red is, red is for love too. And the colors can mean lots of things. So we're going to do green today for feeling loved or feeling loving. So come to your belly. Good. And then you're going to put your elbows under your shoulders and then put your hands on the ground. And then try to lift your chest up. Good. And then can you get your neck really long? Good. So sit up tall. And take a big breath in and a big breath out. Do you think it's easier or harder to breathe when you're on your belly? Is it easier? And let's do one more for green because we can... I'll deal with a lot of feeling loved and loving. I see that. Okay, so come to stand on your knees, and you can face the camera so friends can see you. And bring your hands to your back. Good. Bring your hands on your back. So I'll turn sideways so you can see. And then you're going to lift your chest up. Are we doing blue? We're still on green. And now can you maybe bring your elbows in a little closer together? And then this lift your chest up. My back out. <laughs> Does this stretch your back out? Oh, this <laughs> oh, this is really tempting. <laughs> All right, that was a lot of green. <laughs> blue. 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 Uh, blue, so blue. Blue could be for sad. Blue can also feel um, like you feel heard, like you told or someone scared. how you were feeling. Scared. Maybe. Um, or you feel understood. What does it mean to feel understood? What does it mean? That is when you tell someone something and they get it. They get what you're saying. So feeling heard and understood can feel really good. So we are going to, let's do fish pose. So have a seat. Yeah, can you show me this? And you're going to lean back on your forearms. These are your forearms. You're going to lean back on your forearms. So you're kind of balancing on your elbows. Good. Now, Merritt, try this right where you are. Yeah, from right where you are, Merritt. Try to lift your head up. So can you show me? Lift your head up. Keep your legs long and straight. 
Good. Keep your legs long and straight. And then now, now relax your head back. Ruby, can you relax your head back? Good. We're going to take one more big breath here. And then you're going to come up really slow. So be careful with your head. Be careful with your neck. And have a seat. So did we do all the colors? No. Are we missing one? Purple. Yeah. Purple. I also want to have this color. Do you know someone with a favorite color oh, purple? I think I know. I think flowers have purple. Some flowers have purple. Some flowers have purple. Yeah. Purple can be a color when you feel when you feel connected. Like when you feel connected to your body, to yourself, or when you're feeling good. All the things. <laughs> So we are going to actually come into our child pose. Oh, I love that pose. Yeah, so you're going to get really quiet and you're going to close your eyes. We're just going to be here for a few breaths. So maybe your forehead. Not nap time. Not nap time. Maybe your forehead comes to your mat or your hands. And we just have a couple more poses, friends. And take two more big breaths here in your quiet pose. And then now I'm going to do my favorite pose. And it's, and it's our quiet time again, or shavasana, or our final resting posture. So you can lay down on your side. You could curl up with a grown-up. Yes. Is that how you like to sleep? So, as you come to your last quiet pose, close your eyes. And with your eyes closed, come back to your color red. And just think how red makes you feel. I shared some ways that it might make you feel, but think of how red makes you feel. Maybe think of things that are the color red. And then with your eyes closed, imagine the color orange. And maybe orange makes you feel happy or peaceful or creative or something else. And friends, with your eyes closed, now see the color yellow. And then in your mind, see the color green. And how does green make you feel? Maybe imagine all of your favorite green things. And now imagine blue. Maybe you feel understood or heard or calm when you see blue. And now picture purple. How does purple make you feel? And for the last little bit, try to see all of the colors of the rainbow together. Good job, friends. We're going to come back to our crisscross legs. Were you, were you sleeping in your crisscross legs? Okay, we're going to face the camera so friends can see. And when we end our yoga class, We do. We do a special. So we bring your thumb and your pinky together and we say peace. And then your thumb and your ring finger begins. Thumb and middle finger with thumb and pointer finger me. Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. This time. Put your hands on your knees, or you can even cover your eyes, and say it one more time in your head. Okay, thank you so much, friends, for joining us for yoga story time. If you haven't yet, maybe tell your grown-up to subscribe to our channel. You'll be seeing our yoga story time classes every Monday at 10:30 on, on YouTube. And if you'd like to write in the comments or have your grown-up write in the comments what your favorite color is or how you feel with different colors. Yeah? Say thanks, friends. Bye. Bye.
That was great. High five. Yeah, high five. High five. High five. Oh. That, dude. <laughs>